Hello and welcome back. I am Reverend Brenda Weidman. I'm one of the pastors at First United Methodist Church in Bella Vista. And yesterday, Casey, our communications director, shared with you how she lets go of anxiety. There is a lot of anxiety in our world today. I'm hoping you have returned to continue to seek ways for peace and harmony in the turmoil of what is going on right now in our world, and also to find a way to draw closer to our Lord, for Christ is the Prince of Peace. In Matthew chapter 6, there's a whole sermon, if you will, where Christ talks to his disciples about worry. There was a lot to worry about then as there is today. Let me read to you from our Bible and this section of Matthew chapter 6. Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than these things? Your Creator God knows what you need, but seek first the kingdom of God and God's righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. God bless the reading of God's holy word. The way we seek the kingdom of God and God's righteousness is through prayer. Prayer is the key. I would like to share with you today something called a breath prayer. This is often a short prayer we say as we take a deep breath. And Lord knows we have to take lots of deep breaths breaths these days in this anxious times. In Genesis chapter 2, the scripture says our creator God made us from the dust of the earth and breathed into us the breath of life. In breath prayers, we focus on the breath of life. Now with breath prayers, it's really important to get comfortable. And there are a variety of ways to do that, whatever works for you. Be sure to kind of shake out the, the stress, the tightness. So maybe wiggle your arms, maybe just kind of shake around a little bit. But, um, but just get comfortable. And then you, I'm going to sit in a chair with arms, and that's going to help. But you might lie on the floor with your back down flat, or you might put a, a pillow under your knees or behind your head, any of those. And what we're going to do with these breath prayers as we focus on the breath of life is we're going to breathe in through our nose and let our belly fill with air and then breathe out through our nose. Um, I'm going to say put a, a hand on your belly so you can feel your breath, your belly rise as you um, as you breathe in and then uh, feel it go back in as you as you let it go out. So let's do that three times. I'm going to get get comfortable. Put my hand on my belly and, and then breathe in through my nose. Here we go. You did that three times, so three deep breaths. Let's do it three more times in case. Breathe in and out three times, deep through your nose. Shake it out for a minute. Okay, as we do this breathing, the way we're going to do this is we're going to first breathe, breathe out the things that worry us and then breathe in the things that bring us peace. For example, we'll breathe out fear and then breathe in trust. Okay, so let's try that three times. We'll have to take a deep breath to get started and then we'll breathe out fear and breathe in trust. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Breathe out fear. Breathe in trust. Three times. Breathe out fear. 
Breathe in trust. Breathe out fear. Breathe in trust. Three times. Now what I want to do is share with you a number, a number of breath prayers, a lot of different breathe, in, breathe outs and then breathe ins. And some of these you may find um, one or two of them will speak to you or maybe you'd like the whole sequence of breath prayers. And that's totally um, up to you how you do it. But the, but the thing to do is that we, again, breathe deeply. Try to do so through our nose, although the talking kind of gets in the way of that, I'm sorry. But, uh, but in any case, breathe deeply, and we're going to do one line at a time. And the top line is breathe out doubt, and then breathe in assurance. Hopefully you can see these breath prayers on the screen as I am talking. Are you ready? Okay, get comfortable. And we're going to take a deep breath and then breathe out doubt and breathe in assurance. Ready? Here we go. Breathe out doubt. Breathe in assurance. Breathe out worry. Breathe in peace of mind. Breathe out hatred. Breathe in love. Breathe out war. Breathe in peace. Breathe out turmoil. Breathe in harmony. Breathe out insecurity. Breathe in God's presence. Breathe out emptiness. Breathe in fulfillment. Breathe out selfishness. Breathe in generosity. And the last one, breathe out darkness. Breathe in God's everlasting light. One more time. Breathe out darkness. Breathe in God's everlasting light. And let it sink in. I hope this has been a technique that will bring you peace. I encourage you to practice these prayers in the days ahead and may they bring you closer to Christ in ways that only Christ can bring peace. I hope you come back tomorrow because we're going to live stream our midday Lenten service and our next gen children's director Ashton Wilson will share with us. See you then. God bless.